In the market for a mid-sized sedan, there was a time not that long ago when we would have just said, buy a Honda Accord and you can't go wrong. But Korean alternatives like the Hyundai Sonata and Kia Optima have caught up and in some cases surpassed the Accord with stylish designs and upscale interiors. Make sure you also take a gander at the Ford Fusion, Nissan Altima, Volkswagen Passat, and of course, the Toyota Camry. There are many different Accord models and trim levels to choose from, including two different four-cylinder engines, a six-cylinder, along with both sedan and coupe body styles. Pricing starts around $22,000 and tops out a little north of thirty dollars This four-cylinder EX model with cloth trim comes in a little under twenty-six. dollars Downgraded interior aside, the cabin has king-size dimensions, especially the rear seat, which is one of the largest in the class. The trunk is average at 14 cubic feet, but its large opening and cooperative shape make it seem bigger than it is. The EX comes fairly well equipped with air conditioning, cruise control, an iPod USB audio interface, a six disc CD changer, 17 inch wheels, and a sunroof. Honda does make you pay extra for Bluetooth and a backup camera though. While the controls throughout the cabin work well, this center stack is a serious overload of buttons. The Accord earned a top overall crash rating of five stars from the government. The Insurance Institute gave it a top score of good in both frontal offset and side impact collisions and a second best rating of acceptable in roof strength tests. But braking distances are on the long side. Fuel economy is critically important in the midsize segment, and the Accord 4 cylinder is thrifty. The EPA rates it at 23 MPG City, 34 Highway, and 27 combined. The V6 model gets 20 City, 30 Highway, and 24 combined. The slightly stronger and more refined 4 cylinder in the EX makes 190 horsepower. It's on the slow side for the class, but the 5-speed automatic shifts smoothly. The V6 engine makes a more eager 271 horsepower, but isn't as responsive as we'd like from a stoplight. The steering is nicely weighted, but there is significant body roll in turns. So what's going on here? Has the Accord become a bad car? Absolutely not. It just doesn't dominate the class like it once did. But this is still a well-made, ultra-roomy, fuel-efficient sedan that's sure to retain its value. For more information on the Accord and its competitors, go to edmunds.com.